Hey guys, it's Goat Modeling here. Welcome back to a brand new review of a, a pretty rare kit actually now. Um, USS Laffey, as you can see, uh, 1942. It's a Benson class destroyer, but really this should work for any uh, Leaves class too. Uh, but from my understanding, the funnels did remain the same. It was really just the power plant inside. That's why sometimes it's Benson slash Leaves class. Um, but this is how she'd look at the Naval Battle of Guadalcanal. Uh, so let's get right into it. The only thing that I cut off right away to save both of us some time is just the hull. Um, I'll move this to the side. Okay, uh, so the hull, standard two-piece um, split at the waterline design here. Uh, very nice. The only thing that I have noticed is that this, um, the front half can easily slide forward. So just watch out for that when you're gluing, but it's pretty uh, thick haul overall. Uh, it does come to be a little bit shorter than the Fletcher. Um, okay, so this is the deck of the ship. Um, not too much detail to write home about, um, just mostly because these decks didn't have a ton to begin with. They were not wood, um, so you would see no planking. Uh, sure, they just didn't sheet metal, really. Uh, got your tie-down points. Those look really good. Uh, so, got a lot of those to do. I will say, for anybody who's never built a dragon kit before, they're known to be over-engineered and a little bit complex. Um, so, stuff like that. Um, while it probably does look better than uh, just doing it all in one shot, can be a little annoying sometimes. Uh, your rudder, teeny, teeny, tiny. Um... And then you got your screws. Okay. Next bag, I won't actually. Yeah, let's let's get this out. Nice. Um. So first we have the. This is where you're gonna get all of your detail from. These are the walkways, uh, the non-slips textures that you'd see. Uh, look really good. Uh, you also do get only numbers for Laffy, but once again, like I said, this could be really for any Benson class. Um, but Laffy is a pretty historically um, interesting one. Um, both are, um, but this wouldn't work for the Sumner class version that's in Patriots Point. But yeah, decals. Uh, this is the one, so you get two sheets of small photo etch. Don't get any railing, um, but you do get... Stuff for your radar. Um, I don't know. I think those are gun sights. Those are tiny little things. Um, and then these are your prop guards. But yeah, as you can see, they're just held together by two little sheets of laminate. And then finally, you get... I think these are stickers. But these are your flags. Um, so that's, that's cool. I can't, I don't know what they are. They're glossy, but yeah, I don't, I don't know what they are. They might be decals too. Um, your second piece of photo etch, um, just doors, which are a nice thing. You also get them on plastic. Uh, I'll show you those later. And then right here we have, uh, just range finder guards uh, so like these are splinter shields but they're already preformed for you so that's kind of cool okay okay so starting off with sprue k uh here are some life rafts um some boat uh jigs or arms don't know what you call them again tie down points um some sort don't know what those really are big. They're your doors, like I was talking about earlier. Ship's boats um, look pretty good. Again, more doors. Uh, your flag holders or um, signal areas. Um, but yeah, anchors, tiny. Uh, but yeah, this is really pretty basic stuff. But as you can see, quite a bit of parts for this tiny little ship. Um, next on to Sprue B. This is more of your main superstructure area. 
so you can see where all the little doors go. Um, I do like that all the doors are off. It allows a little more posability. You can have the doors open, which is kind of cool. Um, now I do. Oh, now I do know that some of these change to the late war stuff if you want to do a late war Benson, but I don't know how what changed exactly. But any Benson around forty two, um, even Gleaves should be good. Uh, like I plan to do this as Hobson, but. As you can see right here, that texture uh, for the non-skid stuff looks really good. Um, a nice wash should pop that out pretty nicely. But um, that is on all of the upper surfaces, it looks like. Okay, and so next here is part of the upper deck once again. Does not have that texture on there, but probably wasn't on there. Uh, some guards. Uh, what else are we looking at here? Um, here is part of the, the superstructure or the main bridge. Um, and so you do get two versions of the deck. Um, now, I don't know what the difference is in these. Uh, I, have, I know that the Fletcher class came in round in square bridge uh, designs, but I don't know about the Gleaves uh, and the Benson, so I'm going to have to do a little more research on that. But if you know, this kit does come with two versions, so that might be more suited to what you want. Um, and then this piece, I think, goes with it. But, yeah, and then, oops, sorry, they're your funnels uh, slide molded, too, surprisingly, actually. So that's real nice. Okay, and so final bag, we have the uh main armament here these are the five inch 38s um again really nicely detailed uh looks like it goes together in just a few parts not only do you have the guns for positioning them um like if you just wanted three but you also have the ones with the blast bags uh, if you want a little bit more detail um it's hard to pick up, but they do, they are bored out, so no need to fret, no need to buy extra uh, brass barrels. Next, we do have the five um, part torpedo tube, or the five, um, five launcher torpedo tube in the four. Um, don't know when those got switched out, but I know they did. Uh, right here, you also have a nice rendition of the Chicago piano. Uh, looks like some ammo type of locker. Uh, here is your rangefinder. You also do get um, radar, but uh, that would not be on this ship. Uh, and here are your jigs. Uh, something interesting, Trumpeter does, or sorry, not Trumpeter, Dragon does. Uh, for these pieces, I don't know which one specifically go with which, but some of these need a little bit funnier uh, bending. So actually, I do know for this one, uh, these are the, once again, the prop shaft uh protectors and so you can see the pattern on those and so you just simply bolt uh fold them i've done this kit in 70 or one 700 scale uh a few times and these are on it as well uh, so that's very cool last lastly um, okay lastly here is just the Base plate comes with, looks really nice. Nothing to write home about really, but you do have four different positions. You have some nubs for them. So yeah, uh, and I should mention that in the hall, you do have the holes for that as well. Okay, lastly, let's take a look at the instructions. Um, another fun part <laughs> of building Dragon, if you know, you know. Uh, it looks like, oh yeah, front tells you once again what you parts you don't use and use. Um, here is you're starting off with your super structure. Come into the main hall, uh, or not the main hall, the upper um, areas. Uh, you do build your Orlikin mounts, um, five inch thirty eights. Oh yeah, you do get clear pieces for the uh, spotlights. So if you wanted to light that up, that'd be kind of cool. Um, here is the markings for all of the uh, non-skid walkway, non walkways, which looks really good. 
Uh, here's that jig in action that I'm talking about. But as you can see, these instructions are a little confusing, and I can't tell you how accurate they are. It's another issue with the trumpeter stuff, or dragon, sorry, uh, is that the instructions tend to be very hit or miss on uh, parts being mislabeled or just parts skipped entirely. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it comes together in eight steps, 10 steps, sorry, but rather labor intensive steps. Uh, and then you have your paint scheme for uh, your measure 30 or 21 uh, Laffy. All right, guys, so hopefully you like the review. Um, this is an interesting kit on, this is the only way that I know in 350 scale to still get a Benson class destroyer. So, but it's not too difficult to find, but, um, they're, they're out there. There's just, you gotta wait for the shipping. They're all from China, uh, unfortunately. Unfortunately, if you're in, uh, the West, it takes a little while to get to you. Um, but they're still pretty cheap. Um, and you can always use destroyers, you know, if you're, um, planning on doing some sort of waterline, a diorama, or just building a fleet. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, should see this video, uh, the build video, I don't know, at some point. Um, don't know when I'm going to start on this. So, but yeah, guys, I'm just rambling. Uh, thanks for watching and peace.